and identify a specimen of Alanthus altissima, look for the following features. A light grey smooth bark with light green shallow fissures developing, often forming interesting snake bark like patterns uh, as it develops with age. This species is dioecious with separate male and female trees. Uh, the male flowers are light cream in colour very pungent smelling uh, formed on branched racemes. The female flowers more frothy, less pungent smelling. And these female flowers develop into elliptic, papery, light brown samaras, each with a single rounded seed in the centre. The spray is notably exotic in appearance, the large pinnate leaves resulting in an open crown structure and these leaves born alternately on a thick twig. The leaf is a very large imparipinnate uh, leaf, each leaflet ovate in shape with a tapered tip and typically two triangular small basal lobes pointing perpendicular to the main vein of the leaflet. The crown form is open, broad, rather large, thick twigs generally wider spreading than it is tall in, in a lot of settings. And the winter belt is small, red or red and greeny, um, but what's more noticeable is the presence of the horseshoe shaped leaf scar that surrounds the lateral buds, pale grey to cream in colour, um, with only a few minor scars where the vascular bundles from the leaf rachis have been pared away as the leaf is shed from the tree.